Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup tutorial because who wants to spend mad money when you can save money and still look like a bad bitch? So we're doing bad bitch on a budget, period. Let's just jump right into it because I don't have a lot of time. I have to get a facial after this, so period. <laughs> I still look funny, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to use two primers. I usually use two primers anyway, so I'm going to be going into these two elf primers i feel like i had another one anyway i'm just gonna go with the, these two elf primers um this is the puff puff primer and this is the poreless putty primer and i'm just gonna i'm gonna use this all over my face and this in like my nose area i need a, a thingy do you say i'm talking about a mirror a mirror babe you need a mirror oh my god i'm a mess it is a little bit more greasier than the tatcha one but it works and i really like this one i feel like this looks good on everyone's skin i got this for one of my friends for one of her for her birthday one time and she used it and it looked so good and i literally got it for as a joke like and i feel like it's like one thing is really hard to find um i did have another primer um good drugstore primers um, this is actually another one. If you have dry skin, this is a really good one. It's a primer base serum. It's from Wet n Wild. It's so good. It smells really good. You're like separated. Oh. It's supposed to be pink, but it's like white in the front. That's a little weird. I'm going to jump into brows and the two products that I use. This is my all-time favorite. It's the Maybelline New York Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. I have mine in medium brown. Another good one that's super duper cheap and super duper affordable is the Morphe one. I just have the wrong shade, so I can't use it, but it is really good. And then I will be using the brow glue from NYX because I am going to do my brows like that because period, baddie. So I'm just going to brush these up quick and then I'll go in and fill them in where they need to be filled in because I feel like after they're brushed out, they're... They fill in a little bit more because the brow hairs stand up and are like more in place, if that makes sense, where they are needed. So. And then I'm going to go in with my brow pencil and just do like little brow flicks and stuff like that. Just like. Okay, so now on the foundation, I do have multiple options for you guys. So if you have super oily skin, I would recommend this, then the L'Oreal Infallible one or whatever the fuck. Um, if you have combo skin, I would recommend this. Or if you have oily skin, honestly, it, it just is full coverage all you really need. Um... If you have dry skin, I'd recommend this. This is really good. It's a CoverGirl Oil A plus Olay. Um, and it's like a moisturizer with a foundation. Really good coverage, really pretty, really glowy and all that. It's not going to like cling to anything. And then also, if you want like just light coverage and glowy, dewy, have dry, kind of like any skin really. Um, the Morphe Hint Tint, I think is what this is called. It's like the Morphe 2 thingy, so yeah today i'm going to be using the super stay one just because that's what i like and what i'm feeling today you can also like mix any of them if you want to it's really all personal preference honestly Okay, I know I look crazy, but for the concealers, there's um, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer and the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer. It's like this one. These are both really good. I'm just going to use the ColourPop one. Okay. 
And then for cream contour, this is the wrong shade for me, but the Juvia's Place foundations are really good. Um, I'm just going to use a little bit because I know it's the wrong shade for me. It's like orange, but to just like help warm up the face. I feel like my nose has like disappeared. So I just used the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in 05. That's a really good face powder and like blue setting powder. I know, guys, I look crazy. I know. I'm going to use the Super Stay powder for my under eyes just to put extra powder on any of I don't even know. Then for contour, I have two options. There is the Butter Bronzer from, from Physicians Formula Blind. I know this has gotten like expensive for whatever fucking reason. Um, there's the ColourPop pressed powder bronzer and coconut beach at least this is the one that i have and it's really nice it doesn't smell like anything but it's really nice and it's cheap so that's nice and then there's another um, makeup revolution roxy palette contour and highlighter so it comes with contour and highlighter and it's a very nice so i'm going to be using like the color pop one and the other palette Good blush is the Milani blushes. They have a bunch. It literally just fell out and broke. Yep, that's that's my day right now. That is my fucking day. Okay, so that's the first time that's ever broke on me. But it's a Milani blush in Coral Cove. They have other nice ones. I think there's one like rose tea or tea rose or tea and roses or i don't fucking know something like that and that's really good um i'm just gonna take this like carve out of my nose real quick so now i'm gonna spray my face using the milani spray you can also use the morphe spray that one's really good this one um but i like the milani one i'm just gonna do this real quick yeah can you like believe that guys i don't have a drugstore highlighter low-key weird to me because i feel like all like the drugstore highlighters hit low-key so that's a little weird Medias. oh yeah that's pretty period okay so i'm just gonna use this concealer again to conceal my eyes for eyeshadow and you guys can get affordable brushes from morphe this is the m432 and this is like um a good a good brush to conceal your brows with a lot of people always ask me like what i use because my brows are always so sharp it's it's this one okay so i'm just gonna use the morphe um jacqueline hill volume 2 palette because i feel like this is a very good palette just to use, do like a neutral look with and i'm just gonna use some of the browns in here and see what i come up with and i'll show you guys shockwave liner from la color girl or la girl not la color girl la girl on my waterline real quick use the l'oreal telescopic um, mascara for my bottom and top lashes okay guys so this is a completed look um i just did some mascara and all that i would put on lashes um there's like good lashes from like Allure, Eyelore, the fuck it's called. Um, this lippy pencil is from Maybelline. It's the like ink, super stay ink crayon. Their whole super stay line is really, really good, honestly. Don't sleep on that shit because that shit fire, fire. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this look. I think it's super cute and popping, baddie style, baddie on a budget. I mean, it was literally all like, this is all drugstore. All drugstore, babe. Like, you can get better than this you really can it's um it's crazy it's crazy what they do nowadays um i mean some stuff is still like expensive like there's no reason this should be like 
almost $20 at some places. Like, I don't understand that. But, like, there's some things that are, like, $5. And, like, I don't, that shit's just amazing. And sickening. I think it's sickening. Um, yeah, this color is in Lead the Way. It's just a very neutral color. I was, like, I don't. It's a very neutral look. I just wanted to go basic. But I wanted to throw a little lippy in here. I also like I like the Maybelline like Hyaluronic Acid um, Lifter Glosses. These are so bomb. Guys, look. The applicator is awesome. Like, it literally took me like a second to do that. Um, so if you're more of a glossy ass bitch, this is definitely the way to go. It is very um like tinted. If you get this one, this one is in reef this one's also like very um pigmented and stuff like that so you don't need something like this but i just had it on and i wanted to show you guys a gloss because i think the gloss is really nice i don't know why it keeps cutting me off that's rude as fuck but this is how the look came out i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you have any more makeup recommendation videos or any more videos that you want to see or whatever let me know and yeah i hope you guys liked it <laughs> bye